hello to all my replay viewers. I uh, hope you're having a great Monday and I just wanted to talk to you real quick about being the squeaky wheel. Say hello to my little buddy. She has been, uh, well she was on the mat while I was working out but now she's hanging out in a wrap. Hello, hello. We're going to be talking about the squeaky wheel and my little update. Hey Kaylee. Say hello. Okay, so I'm going to wait just a few more minutes for our live viewers to hop on and then we are going to chat real quick about kind of how my day's been and how I feel a little cray cray. Hello Melissa and just being the squeaky wheel because sometimes you just have to be that's what you have to do so today's Monday and we got our placement last what Sunday night not yesterday but the week before it's Thanksgiving so today's the day to get enrolled in school right well today it's hard okay so this is how our day's gone I call because I know that there's like paperwork that has to be done and sometimes it's easier done um, online from enrolling my last one. So call. Okay, so we're gonna do paperwork. I gotta get certain like passwords and things. So I'm like doing all this and then oh no my phone's low so I'll make this short. Okay, so then well because the last school he was at was out of state, we can't enroll in Texas without shot records. So we have to get the shot records. So I'm like, okay, well here's the info. So get, you know, get it aligned. They're calling, they've got to have this release thing. So then I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Well, I'm waiting for somebody to call me back, but it's a Monday and people are busy, right? So I'm like, I call again. Well, they got in touch, but the other school hasn't like, there's like this miscommunication, right? So I'm like, well, let me call the other school. So then I call the other school, right? And uh, call the other school and they're like well we still haven't got X Y and Z and I'm like well Anna says they've sent it and this person says they haven't gotten it so I'm like okay so I call this one and they all they've sent it I was like well send it again right so I'm doing all this like squeaky wheel back and forth back and forth I am sure they are so sick of hearing from me because here's the deal if you sit back on your haunches this is gonna take days to play out they're gonna take days to get it done because there are so many other things that need to happen. It's not that they're neglecting their job. It's just, it's the Monday after a Thanksgiving break. They're busy, right? But I only have three days to get my kid enrolled in school. If I can't get him enrolled without shot records because he's out of state, I need shot records. Now, guess what? He's, his shots are out of date. So now I've gotta find a place that will take him without insurance it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg to get his boosters up to date so then I can enroll him into school. And I have to get all, all of this done, right? And so that's kind of <clears throat> that's kind of where my day's been at and it's been a little bit stressful, but it's just being part of like my foster son's advocate. I am his only advocate. I am the one, I'm not his only one, but I really am his advocate. I'm the one who's gonna speak up for him. I'm the one who's gonna make sure things get done for him and sometimes that means being the squeaky wheel sometimes that means calling every 30 45 minutes they heard from me today i think i called them about seven times that gets really annoying but you know what it gets things done now did i call hatefully no i didn't i called cheerfully i called with gratitude i said thank you i said you know i appreciate you know all that you're doing because one, I do appreciate them. Two, I realize that they're busy. And three, if I keep calling, right, it's gonna get done. And I can do that without being a nag. And I can do that nicely. And I can take a second when I get frustrated because schools aren't communicating, right? And I can get it done. CPS has heard from me four times today. Uh, our city school has heard from me like seven, at least seven times today. The school in Kansas has heard from me three times a day. There goes the dog. And um, I've called like four different places to get shots. And then we had to go up to the school because we have to have a copy of the shot records to take so they'll give him his last booster and they won't make him start all the way over. Is that not ridiculous? It would make you start all the way over. Let's just pump those kids with more shots. That makes sense. Sorry, uh, soapbox for another day. Anyway, so. <clears throat> my thing to you is 
whether you have foster kids, whether you have adopted kids, or uh, your own biological children, uh, you are their voice. You are their advocate. You're it. Speak up for them. Don't let someone intimidate you. Don't let <coughs> the system take forever because there is a system and there is red tape and sometimes there's no way of getting around it. But don't let that process take forever because people are sitting back on their heels. You're your kid's advocate. Speak up for them and make sure it gets done in a timely manner. And it, whether that's being the squeaky wheel and calling or showing up every day until people get their crap together, do it. You can do it. And you can be your child's voice without being rude. Does that make sense? You can do it without being hateful in the front office, right? You just be that reminder. Be that constant email, right? Be the person who constantly pops up in their voice message or their email or all of those things, right? So you advocate for your kids. School, <coughs> sorry, I'm getting over a cold here. The public school system is flawed. They do their very, very best, okay? But they're still flawed because there's just a lot that they're trying to do for a lot of children and that things fall through the cracks. Look at my kid, he hasn't been in school since March. March, April, May, then August, September, October, five months and nobody's noticed. Your kid, I hate, I mean, they might go unnoticed. It, not because people don't care, but just because there's just so much. So if you've got something that needs to happen with your child, be the squeaky wheel, be the advocate, advocate for your kid, do it politely, do it with a smile on your face, don't be condescending, but just be there and be present and show up and show up and show up and it will get done. Okay, I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.